Hi everyone I am Balaji Rao welcome to BR Max class if you like this video please share it with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel differentiability of a function at a point in this video i am trying to explain when we say a function is differentiable at a point next we will learn when we say a function is differentiable function next we will learn what is derivative of a function this concept is little difficult to understand please watch this video till the end function f of x is differentiable at p if and only if there exists a unique tangent to the curve f of x at p throughout this class i am going to discuss on this point only when function is differentiable at p there exists a unique tangent to the curve at point p there exists a unique tangent to the curve at point p then f of x is differentiable function this is if and only if condition now consider the coordinate axis o is the origin take the curve y is equals to f of x draw a line you observe this line this line cuts the curve at two points name them p q now what is this line p q this line p q is called secant line p q this line cuts the curve at two points so this line is called secant line p q now observe the diagram what is the point p p is a point we suppose which is at a distance of x units from origin p is a point which is at a distance of x units from y axis now what is this length this is height of the curve what is this length this is f of x f of x it can be understood easily from the diagram what is the point p x comma f of x observe the diagram what is the point p point p is x comma f of x correct now where the point q is observe this move towards right from the point p which is at a distance of h units what is h here h is very small positive quantity what i am trying to say q is a point which is at a distance of x plus h units from origin observe the point q q is at a distance of x plus h units from y axis this length is x plus h now what is this length yes what is this length this is height of the curve what is this length f of x plus h now what is q q is x plus h comma f of x plus h from the previous knowledge we can understood this very easily q is x plus h comma f of x now observe that as q is approaching to p from right q is approaching to p from right what happens secant line you think observe the diagram please secant line pq observe the tendency of secant line pq when q approaches to p from right observe the secant line pq it is moving secant line pq secant line pq please observe the diagram secant line pq as q approaches to p from right secant line pq is becoming tangent to the curve at point p please observe this carefully when q approaches to p from right secant line pq is became tangent to the curve y equals to f of x at the point p understand this please when q approaches to p from right the secant line pq is became tangent to the curve y equals to f of x at point p that means when q approaches to p from right observe here x plus h is approaches to what x plus h is approaching to x when q approaches to p from right x plus h is approaching to x when x plus h is approaching to x means h is approaching to 0 it can be understood easily from the diagram h is approaching to 0 now observe the secant line observe the diagram now you can see the secant line pr pr observe towards left of it r is at a distance of h units towards the left now what is r r is at a distance of x minus h units from origin this length is x minus h now what is this length 
This length is what? This length is f of x minus h. From the diagram, it can be understood easily. R is x minus h comma f of x minus h. R is approaching to p from left. Please observe. R is approaching to p from left. Now observe the secant line PR. Observe observe the tendency of the secant line PR. Observe the tendency of the secant line PR. It is becoming tangent to the curve y equals to f of x at the point P. Tangent to the curve y equals to f of x at point P. What we observe here when Q approaches to P from right, R approaches to P from left, the secant line is became tangent to the curve y equals to f of x at point P. That means we observe that for this curve y equals to f of x, there exists a unique tangent to the curve at point P. Observe here, x minus h is approaching to x. It means when r is approaching to P from left, x minus h is approaching to x. It means that minus h is approaching to 0. It is nothing but h is approaching to 0. I will conclude. When we say a function f of x is differentiable at a point p. If there exists a unique tangent to the curve y equals to f of x at point p. Please watch next video in that I will give more information about differentiability of a function at a point. I hope you understand this. I hope you understand this class. If you like this video please press like button below. Share this video with your friends. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe now. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.